Hello once again guys, it's Mike and this is a quick video hopefully just to show how I customised my Black Series Kylo Ren FX lightsaber. Um, the lightsaber itself when it originally came, I loved it, I loved the design, I loved the movie accuracy in terms of like, the hilt and everything else about it. The weight was a bit much compared to most um, FX lightsabers, it was a bit heavier but it wasn't totally unusable. So, the only downside that I personally felt with it was the blade itself wasn't actually, you know, unstable. The blade was just a typical fluorescent tube and the two cross guards as well. So, I've seen videos online of people um, offering replacement blades, but the, the fact that you had to send it away or you had to break it apart and stuff. So, there was also other videos on how to do it yourself and do it quite cheaply. So what I did was, um, I looked at the videos and I kind of took notes on how to do it but I did my own kind of uh, update on it, on my upgrade because while it was very nice with just the the upgrade silicone the problem was that in, in any kind of direct light the blade looked pink so it wasn't really kind of intimidating, it was very kind of you know it looked, it looked as if it was kind of the blade had burnt out or it just it, it wasn't kind of good for photographs so what I did was, um, I got the silicone, as you can see with the gun at the back, so you, you kind of create, I'll just zoom in a little bit, you just kind of create uh, an unstable look, and you kind of go all the way up, you know, it, everyone has their own way of doing it, I kind of made it a bit kind of messy, and um, people were kind of just going up, and just kind of moving the blade, that try to get like everything, I don't know if you can see that, that one there, try to create that all the way up, but I kind of made it a bit kind of back and forth, so it looks as if it is properly unstable right to the very end of the tip as well and again down at the cross guard so that was just using everyday basic silicone you know you can get silicone at any hardware store um cost like three pound uh, a, a tube and you know obviously you need the gun with it as well so it's it's an even finish and you've got total control of it but the personalized the thing i did myself was i noticed a lot of people hadn't done was i spray painted it now it wasn't everyday basic spray paint this is um it's this kind of spray paint here, it's tail light spray paint so it's translucent which means that light does um, shine through it once once you spray paint it so it's just that I personally wanted something that was always red but I wanted it to remain, you know, to, to maintain the LED bulb that was inside it so I'll switch it on for you and I'll show you that the light does shine perfectly fine through it so you don't lose any kind of light in fact, I think it actually makes it look kind of a bit better because it's it's the tail it's in the spray paint is the stuff that you put in the back of your tail light, so it does allow an LED bulb to shine through it perfectly fine. So I'll switch it on for you and I'll show you that again. Even it's sunny outside the now, as you can see, I've got the blend in a little bit, but there's still enough light radiating into the room, and this just shows you that you can get this, you can have this effect, and you can still maintain the LED bulb. You don't have to do anything with the bulb itself. So I'll switch it on for you. And it still maintains its light. Now, obviously, in direct sunlight, it won't show up that good. But in nighttime, it does maintain its radiant, kind of flickering glow. So, all it takes, guys, is you know, three pound silicone. And if you want to do what I did, which was uh, spray paint the silicone as well, the, this kind of spray paint. I don't know if you can get this in every country. This is I don't even know if it's an actual brand. It just says uh, Tuning Line. But you can get it on like eBay, or Amazon for next to nothing but it is expensive i think it's like nine nine pound a can so you know use it sparingly but that was leaving half a can for the full complete unit and the underside of it as well but um yeah that's it. it's just it's just to show that you can customize anything and you won't really damage it in fact i think it i personally think it looks far superior to the one you actually you, the one that you get by default from uh, black series fx lightsaber so you know, if you want to, you know, do it yourself. Again, it only takes it take it took like twenty minutes to get the blade covered, and about twenty four hours to dry. And same with the, the spray paint. Spray paint it in twenty minutes, twenty four hours to dry, and it's done and dusted. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, the reason I kind of did this as well is my, I'm still having issues with my Sabre Forge, where the bulb's not working, and um, there's kind of back and forth. Um, about whose responsibility it is. I, I'm, 
I'm going to take certain responsibility because it's quite difficult not to force it in, but it's quite difficult, again, same same argument, not to force it in. There's not a lot of room for the wires to move in, so we're kind of debating that um, at the moment, but I still have the help. Um, but yeah, so again, just have a go at it, guys, if you want a, a Kyle or NFX lightsaber, you know, if you want to mod it in some kind of way that's better than what they give you out the box, you know, again, 20 minutes tops, that's all it takes. But um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope to be, I hope to be back with uh, another video. Um, I'm actually working on a Kylo Ren cosplay and it's still a work in progress. Um, so hopefully I'll get a video with this lightsaber in, in uh, full use with the full outfit and um, get up to easy SAP. So thanks again guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.